Hello, good morning. I've been up for a very long time. I drove from my parents' house this morning so I could get ready at my house and just leave from my house. I need to go into the city today, have a couple back-to-back -back meetings that don't require me to be in the city, but that I have a walkthrough later this afternoon. So I figured I'd just take my day from the office. So let's do a OOT real quick. It is hot, guys. Like, I think we're in a heat wave. I would much rather prefer to have a dress on, but again, I'm gonna be on a job site today. I just don't like all the dust and stuff like all over me. You don't realize like how dirty these construction sites are until you get home and like your dress has dust and smudge stains and then it's like, so I just don't do it anymore. I just wear pants and t-shirts or pants and jeans. I tried on like five different t-shirts this morning until I found, this is the one that I was looking for because it's a little loose and I like the fact that like, the neck is a little wrinkled. It gives a more like casual vibe. These pants are from Zara. I've had them for a really long time. I bought them in one of the semi-annual sales. They have like a, a lace elastic waist in the back. I have my white loafers on from Sam Edelman. They are like busted, but I'm wearing them into the city so that I can drop them off at my cobbler and get them fixed. So I'll have like a pair of sneakers with me as well. This is my necklace that I got from Nordstrom's like over a year ago at this point. Um, bracelets are always the same. Earrings are always the same from Aruba. So this is the look, really simple. I'm already sweating. And I've never had to deal with this before because prior to like turning 30, I never sweat. Like I literally wouldn't even wear deodorant. So this is a brand new life for me that I hate. I'm like, I hate it. Anyway, <laughs> that is the fit. Good morning, YouTube. This is just real life today. I am probably not leaving the house. I have a bunch of work to do for work. And then I finally want to finish my bathroom and I'm probably going to take like a break in the middle of the day to do that and film that while I still have um, really good daylight. So then that means I'm going to be like working, working probably later on into the evening. Thursday is always a pretty long day for me though because I need to like do all of my like back end admin kind of stuff that I will have put off the entire week or finally just need to do to like sort out before the weekend comes. So this is a super simple OOTD. These are sweatpants, which are from Primark. There's a Primark near my parents' house at the Freehold Mall. So I know for my US girls are probably like, and guys, because Primark sells for everybody, the whole family. Like that's a European store, UK store, yes it is, but they have couples sprinkled throughout the United States and Freehold Mall just happens to have one. So these are from Primark. Um, I've had them now for like two or three years. They wash really well and they're really comfortable. So it's just their basic, they call them joggers. They're basic kind of just like sweatpants. Couldn't have been more than $12 because I don't think I've ever spent more than $15 on anything at Primark. This shirt is just a basic t-shirt. It's from And Other Stories. I got it last year, I think just during like their sell, just walking around Soho because my office used to be in Soho and it just has the little female sign on it. And I have my necklace on, which I didn't take off. Typically when I wear a necklace or jewelry, I'll wear it for like a couple of days, switch it to something else, wear that for a couple of days. So until like, I feel like it's, bothering my skin and I just need to take it off. But almost all of my jewelry is either real gold, real silver, or plated in real gold and silver just because my skin is sensitive. And that's it. I don't want to show you guys my feet because I think they're looking a little ratchet. Cannot wait till I can go get my feet done. I think I'm done with getting my nails done. I'm just going to live with the nubs that I have and just buy press on nails when I have places and things to do. But you know, at this point, I just don't think I'm gonna continue to spend money on my nails, but my feet, because I only get my feet done like every six six weeks, like six to eight weeks, it actually is worth it for me. So that's the look. You could find me sitting at my desk for most of the day. Very 
different place than I typically am. Not at my house, not at my parents' house. I am in a parking lot in North Carolina celebrating the life of my grandmother who recently passed. But I did want to still continue doing videos because that's a commitment that I made to myself. So this is my OOTD video. I basically, I got this shirt from Zara. I recently got it. I was thinking about doing a haul, but I don't really want to do a haul. So you're probably going to see like new pieces over the next couple weeks and I will be sure to link them. Just in the back, it does have like a scrunching. Doesn't really gather anything though. Like this is huge. Like this is how much extra material I have. I got this in a large, I believe, because that was my, that's my size. And I knew it was going to be oversized, but it's very oversized. I actually like the fit of it though. I asked my sister today if I should get a smaller size. She told me no, it's short enough. So I guess it, it comes off a little short. I just as a reminder, I'm five seven. So obviously if you're shorter than me, this be, this will be longer on you. And if you're taller than me, it might not be a shirt dress. It's giving me opening ceremony vibes actually, which is why I really like it because it's boxy in nature. Open ceremony kind of looks like this. So does Cost. Cost has something very, very similar right now. So I'll link both below. These shoes are Steve Madden. They give like Valentino Rockstar vibes, but this is not why I bought them. I saw these on Karen Britchick first and I just really thought that they would be cool because they're clear and they basically go with everything. I actually don't even like the Valentino Rock Stud line. I've never liked it. So I was actually surprised that I bought these, but they just happen to go with everything. I've been wearing them now for the past like two weeks. And I'm carrying my coach bag, which you guys have seen a million times. It's just in the car right now. Very simple, kind of like OOTD. This video will probably be full of random OOTDs in very weird places because there's no full mirrors at my grandma's house. Hopefully there'll be a full mirror at the hotel, but yep. This is my look for the day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. ever to be doing an OOTD but I literally don't have anywhere else to do this video I'm at my grandmother's house so I did just want to show you guys this outfit really quickly because this is the first time I'm actually ever even wearing this dress and I've owned it for quite a long time this is actually what I wore to my grandmother's funeral and this dress is actually still available so that's what prompted me to do this I wasn't going to film really just any looks this kind of week and a half that I've been in North Carolina, just because one, again, celebrating my grandmother's life, and two, I've basically lived in big t-shirts, leggings for the past week and a half. I think I've put on real clothes three times, maybe four times in the past 12 days. So um, it just wasn't really like a lot of things to film, but I was on Nasty Girl yesterday after I watched a Monroe Steel video and I literally saw this dress still on the website. So I was like, let me actually include this in this video so if anybody likes it, they can go on the website and buy it. Um, so like I said, it is from Nasty Girl. It basically kind of does uh, hip hugging and then flares out into a fish. I, I'm Guys, I'm literally in a jacuzzi tub to film this. So just appreciate the effort. Don't come for me. <laughs> it flares out. It's it's figure it's figure hugging. I wouldn't call it a body contrast per se. I did buy this in a size up because I didn't want it to be like skin tight. It actually ended up still being tight on like my butt, which is accepted. Uh, I mean, accepted. It is accepted, but it's also expected. Um, but I have a little bit of room in my stomach and really on like my hips. But the dress, even when you take it off it literally looks like that. So it's supposed to kind of hug your curves, make you look like you have a smaller waist than you do, and then flare out. And I actually ended up wearing this with the jelly sandals, the Steve Madden jelly sandals that you would have saw in the last clip. The jewelry I have on is actually um, a rope from my grandmother. This you guys have seen plenty of times before. This is my gold chain. 
and I have on a scrunchie. There's this meme that says, if I if I get married or or something like that, someone please take the scrunchie off my wrist. That's me. I always have a scrunchie on my wrist, whether it's my natural hair or you know a different style. Live with a scrunchie on my wrist, but it's basically um, well, you don't film for seven days and you forget how to hold a camera. It's basically my same jewelry that I wear all the time. And like I said, the day that I wore this, which was, would have been last week now at this point, I wore it with my jelly sandal, so. Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm in a different place. The title of this video is three states in three weeks. So I'm in my third state. I'm in California and I'm going to show you a couple of OOTDs. So we are going to a friend's house today. We're going to dinner and hopefully the beach. It's my birthday. It's really hot. It's like 95 degrees here today in LA. So this was honestly just the coolest. And when I, I don't mean like by like cool, this is literally like the coolest breathable kind of like dress that I had. This dress is from ASOS. I've had it for a really long time. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this dress before because it's posted on there probably like once or twice a year. I typically only wear this dress on vacation basically because the split is very, very high. It's higher than what I'm showing you. So I have to be really mindful when I'm walking around to kind of like hold it and it not like open, just like open sesame. I don't know, I just feel like in LA because it's so hot, you can get away with wearing things that I just wouldn't wear in New York. Like I wouldn't wear this in New York if I was like getting on the train or the subway or going into the city. I would definitely wear it to like the beach, but this wouldn't just be a typical, I got like a lot of things to do dress for me in New York. So I don't know. I just feel like it's hotter in LA and showing more skin is acceptable in LA. The dress has a little kind of like stretchy, part it's umpire i'm trying to find a way to show you guys the back so i don't know if you can kind of see that but basically it crisscrosses in the back it comes down like mid back hey, that was somewhat of a fail i was trying to show you the back of the dress um nonetheless wearing my steve madden sandals that remind everyone of like valentino i've had two people now ask me about these sandals um I'm very surprised when they're like, oh, no, they're Steve Madden, which, you know, I was too um, when I originally bought them and saw them on Karen Britchick. So very, very simple. I basically have on the same jewelry because I've been living out of a suitcase for three weeks now. So my grandmother's chain necklace, my necklace that I bought, my grandmother's rings and my two bracelets and my hoops that I got made in Aruba. So, yes, that is the look. Hello. It dawned on me <laughs> that this is a much better place to do these videos than where I did it yesterday. So this is what I'm wearing. I will say one thing I do really like about just Ali's style in general is that you can kind of make anything work and you can always be casual. That's not to say that that's not the case like on the East Coast, like in New Jersey, New York where I live, but like typically there's more of an inclination to be dressier, especially like if you're not going for a streetwear look, like there's, it's like a very diff, it's definitive. Like there's a definitive difference between, you know, styles. Cause like in New York, I probably would have worn this with like, I don't know, maybe like a little heel, a jean jacket or, you know, a leather jacket or something like that. Whereas, you know, I didn't bring a jacket because originally I didn't think I was gonna come straight here from North Carolina. But nonetheless, like it's a, 
It's basically just a silk slip dress um, that is actually an underlay of another dress that I got from Zara earlier this year, a lace, it has like a lace overlay. This is just the underlay, but I just really like that it's like a square cut across the top and loose, kind of like a, a frilled edge. So I actually wear it by itself. I've only worn the lace overlay once. And this jacket is not mine. This jacket is my boyfriend's, but again, I didn't bring a jacket and it might get chilly. So yeah, I just like that it's a little bit more casual than I would probably go for in New York. Like if I was going to someone's dinner in New York, like I said, I probably would have just dressed this up. So Ryan yeah. and <laughs> Probably the best OOTD location of this video. I'm at Hotel June. I decided to treat myself for my birthday and do a little staycation, even though it's not really a staycation because I don't live here, but I'm just here visiting my boyfriend. So I don't really consider this a vacation. So yeah, let's do my OOTD real quick. I have on this shirt from Zara, I know I mentioned before that I did um, a little Zara order. It was only like four items, three or four items, but the items have turned out to be like, um, really kind of like staples already. So I've been wearing this nonstop. I also packed it for what was supposed to be a four day trip that's turned into a three week trip. So, you know, wearing the same stuff over and over y'all. Yeah, it's like big and boxy. I got this in a large, which is typically my size. And it's, it's huge. Like. There's a lot of room, so this is on the sale right now. If you buy this, I would say buy this in your size or maybe even a size down um, so you're not drowning in it. If I had a complaint, I would say that I wish it was a little bit longer. It does hit kind of like on a little bit of an awkward place on my body because it's not really at the top of my waist, <laughs> but it's not, it's like hitting right at kind of like my hip. So not the most flattering place to hit, but Again, I still like it, it's fine. I got these biker shorts on, which you've now seen a lot of times. These are the ones from Boohoo that are like this kind of acrylic texture or material, which I really like because basically every time I wash them, they're still fairly soft. This is probably like the third time they are starting to show like a little bit of wear, you know, where your thighs rub, but nothing that would make me not recommend them. I actually just bought two more pairs of these for myself and one pair for my mom. So I, I obviously, I obviously like them. And yeah, just my Chloe sandals. I'm about to put on my bathing suit, go downstairs and lay out for a bit. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys me in a bathing suit. I don't think we're there yet. And I guess I can give you a little room tour as well. So it is a very, um, I would say utilitarian modern style. This is, I'm assuming the bathroom cause I haven't opened the door yet. Yes, I am right. This is the bathroom. Hello again. It's kind of very basic in all of their material choices. Honestly, just a basic square tile, kind of like a mosaic pattern. Huge shower though, shower is nice. But very, very simple, very, very simple choice of materials. And I'm saying that from someone who actually works for a hotel. <laughs> I work in facilities for a hotel, so actually, bringing the hotel from construction to live is a huge part of my job. I do like the bed though. I definitely like the bed. I like the table and chair. Really great. going on I just wanted to show you guys my look today I'm wearing the same bathing suit it's from ASOS I'm not gonna show you the whole bathing suit it's pretty simple it has a basic cutout but it's cute and yesterday I wore this with my black just stretchy dress today I'm wearing it with 
this white Zara dress, which was part of the little order that I did last month or the month before. This dress I have worn multiple times now. I've worn it just on its own with like, you know, a black bra underneath so it doesn't like show through so much and, and regular underwear. Like I've literally worn it just as a dress. Wearing it as a cover up today, it almost kind of looks like maybe it's too short to continue wearing as a dress, but it's longer in the back. It has um, a little pull here. I don't know if you could see it. So I probably will continue wearing this as a dress. I wouldn't wear this to work per se, especially like if I was gonna be moving around a lot on construction sites, but I would just wear this like in Jersey City running errands or going to the park or whatever, like, or going to see family, like just on a regular day. Yeah, so I like it. It's 100% cotton. It has these big pockets and I got it full price. You might be able to find this in a Zara store depending on where you live, if your Zara's are open. Our stores are open in New Jersey. They're not open in New York. Um, and I've been in LA and North Carolina now over the past three weeks and they're spotty. Like LA, if you just type in Zara into Google Maps, like you'll see some are open, some aren't. So this isn't online, but maybe you'll be able to catch this in store. Yeah, and that's really just a little.